So let me get this straight. You are not the one who comes up with that Kingdom Hearts bullshit Shit. ending in Final Fantasy 7 remake? Yeah, you all thought it was me. But it was him. Yoshinari Kitase-san, the producer. Hello there. I initially want it to be a faithful remake actually. That is the most surprising thing I have ever heard from you. Hey, I only go wild with the thing I come up with myself. I don't want to disrespect people who made the original. And then I, the director of the original, thought we should do the opposite. And I approved. Well I'm happy you guys can came to an agreement. But are you sure this is the right call? I mean the fans sure got crazy over that ending. Oh, that is exactly what we wanted. The confusing twist ending got everyone speculating like crazy. The hype just keeps expanding without us having to do anything. So like Corona- We have accomplished the impossible. We turned Final Fantasy 7 fans into Kingdom Hearts fans. Oh yeah. It sure works wonderfully in that series. Don't worry. We gonna get the part 2 out quickly before people overhype it. I hope. Anyway, let's start this meeting for real. We plan the first release date of part 2 to be in 2022. So what is your plan on that? Oh I'm glad you ask. Cause we have some. Ideas. Oh shit. Here we go again. So, we still gonna keep it familiar to the original. And by that, we probably mean sprinkle moments from the original within the new story. So like Disney World and Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, but without having to get approval from Disney every second. Now I'm the only one who approves it. Hell yeah. I need to prove it to you now. So are we gonna keep Aerith alive? Yeah we should. Her death scene was a public domain at this point. It would be an obvious twist. Oh that's a really good idea. The fans gonna like it. Maybe too obvious. What? We should pretend that player can save her and then kill her later. Why? Why stop there? We should kill off other main characters too. Please stop. How about all of them? I thought Tabata-san already left our company. Then we can revive them all later. Then what is the point of that? Also how? Time travel. Is this 7 part 2 or 13 2? An alternate reality. Yep it's 13 2. Speak of 13. In part 3 when Meteor is about to fall, we should have a time limit in the overworld. Damn it I just give him an idea. Although, there is one important thing we still can't agree on. I didn't agree with anything you said before. But whatever. What is it? The name. The name? What should we name Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2? Cause you know, Part 1 didn't have Part 1 in it. I thought it was to trick people into thinking it was a full remake of the original. Oh come on. We are not you. Ouchie ouch. Do you have any idea Kitao say Sam? Actually I do. How about Final Fantasy 7 Remake? That's the same name. No, it's Final Fantasy 7 Re Semicolon Make. How does this in any way indicate that it's part 2? Oh I get it. The semicolon has two dots, and two in braille language without number indicator is also two dots. F*** this shit. I'm out of here. Just left some part of content out for pre-order bonus and you guys can do whatever the hell you want. It gonna sell anyway. I'm gonna go talk to all. Why don't we add another one between V and I in 7? Great idea. 